Right guys, today I'm going to make a quiche, my version of, uh, I've made it a few times before, um, I've seen some on YouTube and stuff like that, but I don't make it like that, I just make it my way, and I like it to have lots of bacon in it and lots of cheese in it, I can't do with them soggy ones with hardly any ingredients in, I might have even bought some from the supermarket and they're crap, so if you follow this, the steps I make, it's simple, and uh, I'll guarantee you it's better than any keys you're going to buy from any supermarket, even if you buy it from Delhi, the crap compared to these. So, uh, yeah, just let you know, I mean, I'm not a chef uh, by any means. Uh, just make it as I go along mostly, just throw some ingredients together and see what comes out. Uh, but, yeah, I've got a bit of an idea with this because I've done it a few times in the past over the years. So, um, yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get some ingredients out and uh, I'll show you what we're going to use and then we'll get started. Yeah, so, right, I've got some ingredients out. I think this is all I need for a minute. So I'm going to use this short crust pastry mix from Asda. Now, I can make short crust pastry myself, but by the time you've pissed about making it and, bought, and used half a block of bloody butter and bought a load of flour, this was 74p a bag. And I think this will easy make what I need. It might even make two for the size of the trays that I use, uh, which I'll show you in a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'll make that up first. I mean, I might video a little bit of that so you can see it, but this is ingredients. I've got some bacon, cheese. I mean, I might not use all that bacon. There's like 16 rashers, but I'll probably use a lot of it because I do like a lot of ingredients in mine. I'll probably use that whole block of cheese, the medium onion, and a tomato just to garnish on top. Uh, I've got some rock salt there, just pink rock salt. You white, whatever you want. That's just what I add in. And some uh, a little black pepper there, just a little stone mill, uh, all black peppercorn grinder. So, I mean, they were like 60p from B&M or something. So, I mean, I don't go by me buying all expensive ingredients. Just buy what you get. If it's, if it's decent, just and throw it together, make up a decent Yeah, meal. okay, so we need, for this for this flour, we need 135ml of cold water. So, I'll just tip that in. And uh, we'll just bind this together. Do it with a fork. Until it all comes together. Yeah, like I say, you can make your own pastry. It's only, I think it's half the fat to the flour. Uh, so if you had, say, 500 grams of flour, you'd want 250 grams of, flat, uh, of, of fat, either lard and butter or just butter. I'm not sure if you should do it just lard, but anyway, but for what it takes just to make it with this, which is not, you know, it's still just as nice to be honest. Uh, I don't think it's worth pissing about making it, but I mean, I will make it on another vlog from scratch then just to see how, if anybody wanted to see how, how I did it, to be honest, but yeah, so it's all coming together now, pretty much going into a ball, you better get your hands in there then. Right, let's have a look, bang it into a ball. It's all coming together nice that now. Nice ball of pastry. Then what we'll do is we'll just cover this and uh, put it in the fridge. I think it says for like 15 minutes. And just while it all expands and I suppose same as like bread dough maybe so it gets elasticated. But yeah. Nice ball of pastry there. At least you do one. I might do two uh, of my trays for quiches but I'll put that aside. And then I'll start prepping the uh, other ingredients. So I'm going to put that in the fridge, cover it a bit of clean film. I'll put it in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes or for when I've um, prepared all this. So I'm going to chop bacon. Uh, I'll chop the onions. Tomato, I'll put to one side for now because I don't need that till the end. And then I'll grate all this cheese. And then uh, we'll start putting it all together. Right, so I'll just cut and dice this onion, then I'm going to lightly fry this, and then I'll chop the bacon and fry that uh, in with this onion until cooked, and, and the onion is translucent and, and the uh, bacon's cooked through, and then that'll go into an egg mix and cheese mix, and then that'll go into his quiche. So I'll just... Finely chop onion. Don't worry about being posh, just chop it up. We're not chefs, I'm not trying to impress anybody. 
just try to make some good honest home cooked food that's better than what you can buy in processed for the sake of a bit of time and effort you can have a really good meal you can have this quiche with chips you can have it with salad there'll be all sorts you can have it you can have it just on its own you can have it warm you can have it cold you can reheat it Side. Like I say, I'm no chef, but I know how to use a knife. So, bacon, I'm just going to cut this fat off, just get every lump of it cut all off in a one. Messing about doing it all individual, get all fat off. Get a nice bit of bacon, then turn it over. So I've done that, there's a little bit left in, then we'll just slice and dice it. Watch your fingers. I don't know if you saw my yesterday's vlog, or my previous vlog, where I was cooking bread and sizzled my arm and finger. And I did a third degree burn. I didn't. Just a little bit of a burn on the arm and burn my finger. Yeah, so just roughly chop it all. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to look beautiful. So I'm just going to get fried up. Mix in it with a mix of egg, cheese and onion. And throw in a bit of pastry and cooked. So it doesn't have to be posh. That's, I'll cook a few more just in case I might do. Two quiches. Because I do like this. I want to get started on it. I don't have to eat it. Them again, slice and dice. No specific size or shape, just get through it. And anyway, I suppose then you get some decent sized pieces in your mouth when you're biting into it. After, little pieces, big pieces. A lot of flavours in there, don't matter. That'll do. Right, so I'm just going to grate this cheese and I'll get back to you. Yeah, so I'm just going to grate. I'll grate the whole block of cheese. And then we'll see how far it goes, but it's going to do one or two pies. So, okay, yes, yeah, so the uh, cheese is grated now, and I forgot to mention the ingredients when I got them all out. Obviously, we need some eggs. I just, these are just 12 large British eggs from uh, Sainsbury's Free Range. I think they're about £1.70 or something. 12 eggs. So, I'm not sure how many we're going to use yet. We're just going to make it up as we go along, and that's what I do. So, when I get the mixing bowl out, we'll throw it in. I'll mix, I'll probably mix at least for all this, maybe 10 eggs. Yeah, maybe 10 of them, might have used a lot, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, at the end I'll tell you exactly what we've used and how much we've used. The cheese I'm using, I've got, I think it was from Lidl, uh, I think we're only about two quid, isn't it? Uh, 400 grams British mature cheddar, make Empire, use whatever cheese you want, doesn't matter. Whatever you like, throw it in whether you want mature or not. So that's just what I use, that's what I like. Uh, so I'm going to start now, we're going to, to put this into the frying pan to bake an onion. Well, when I say frying pan, this is my wok, the belter, I got it the other day. I bought three of them at Asda. They were reduced on special offer, £5 each, you can't beat it. I got three, give one to each of my daughters. I've got three daughters, but uh, I gave it to two of them. Because I took the last three, so yeah. Fiver, bargain, can't go wrong. So I'm just going to put a bit of oil in there. You don't need a lot because a bit of oil will come out, a bit of fat will come out of bacon. Warm that up. And uh, yeah, just bring that up to heat and then I'll put onion in the bin. And then bacon. Do it right, you can't do it wrong as long as you don't burn it, it doesn't matter. Just throw it in and see how we go. Right, so I'm just going to brown this up and I'll come back to you in a minute. 
Right, yeah, it's a couple of minutes later now, so it's getting there now. Onions are translucent, bacon's pretty much cooked through. I don't want to burn it at all, I'm too brown. Too good at quiche and it'll cook again a bit more in there, so. What I'll do is, once this is cooked, I'm going to put it to one side to cool down. So I don't want to put it into uh, my mix while it's warm, because it'll start cooking eggs. So let it cool down. Sometimes, if you get a lot of excess juice, which actually, this bacon and onion that really leaks much out. But uh, just drain the, if you get too much liquid in the bottom, drain that off before you put it in your mix, because it'll make like a watery uh, quiche at the end. And you don't want that. Want a nice, moist, firm quiche with plenty of ingredients in it. Yeah. And as usual, I'm having a beer. I don't want you to think I drink every time I cook, but I do. <laughs> so, yeah. It relaxes you when you have a beer when you're cooking. You start not to worry about it too much, you're like, oh well, just throw this in, throw that and it'll be right, it'll taste okay. Just get rid of your inhibition. Right, I think that's pretty much alright, I'll just take that off now, let it cool. And I'll uh, crack some eggs, some mixed cheese and stuff like that. And then we'll add this to the mixture after, and then we'll crack on with pastry. So I've got eight eggs in there, I'm going to put another two in. So we'll have ten eggs. I can always add more. Like I say, I'm not one for measuring and working out all the ingredients. I just throw it in and see what happens. Generally, it always, well, it always comes out okay. So I'm just going to whisk all that up. Fork. Just give this a right good whisk. And then I'll add the cheese. And when the, and the cooled, once the bacon and the onions cool, I'll add that to it. Season it a bit of salt and pepper. And then we're ready to make the pastry. Yeah, so it's nicely whisked up now with that egg. I think what I'll do is I'll just season the egg now. Uh, Fleet lid up, lid up pepper will you do it. Get plenty into it. Take the lid off, sprinkle it in, serves it going everywhere. Little tip for you. Yeah, I mean, they ain't loads, it's not the best pepper mill in the world to be honest so yeah same with salt eight turns with this big bad boy because it gets a bit of salt out of that and maybe a couple more leave lid on while you do it save it going everywhere can't remember what I did there maybe another five so maybe 13 turns of that and just give that a quick mix up Started in this cheese. Mixing it in. Bear with me, the battery's going to go on my camera, so I need to plug it in. Yeah, just while we're off camera there, I'll just throw a bit more of cheese in because. I'm not right good at editing to be honest, so I try to just pause and, and play so I don't have to do so much editing in a minute, just want to get used to it and it's like 17 minutes long already, so you know it's getting a bit longer than your video. People will have patience to watch it all. So yeah, so that's all nicely mixed in now. And then uh, I'm gonna check the bacon and onion and see if that's cooled down and if so I'll add that to it. Okay so all the cheese, bacon, onion, salt, pepper, eggs, all mixed in. That's your mixture now. I reckon that should make two, two of these dishes. I think these are nine inch, maybe it's eight and a half inch, maybe uh, metal baking dishes. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this to one side. I'm going to roll out the pastry, you don't need to see me doing that because I'm, you know, my me, me, uh, clock's ticking on this now, so I'll roll that out, I'll get that into the trays and then I'll show you adding the mixture into there, and I, obviously I, I don't know if you've seen my previous video, I don't have an oven, so this I'm going to do this in an allergen oven, and I've not actually done this in an allergen oven before, I've always done it in a conventional oven, but I don't have one here, we're just locked down in a little cabin at the minute, uh, because we were living in a camper van and going travelling, but this Covid craps 
uh, put stop to that so yeah we're just staying here at the minute in this little uh, cabin so I've only got basic equipment and, and limited space and uh, obviously like I say I haven't got an oven so allergen it is but I did bread in if you see my previous video where I did bread in it for the first time uh, that worked out pretty good actually so we'll see how this goes right guys so I've got pastry out of the fridge I've had to get a quick change because uh, I made an egg wash and, sp and splashed egg all over me uh, but that's real life that's what happens so this is half that pastry that I made I'm gonna make well I've made two pies I've made one already it's in uh, allergen uh, just to get me in front uh, then this is other half and this is to go in uh, next tray with other half of mixture so all them ingredients I gave you, I showed you, they'll make two uh, uh, quiches easily. Two decent sized quiches in like nine inch round uh, baking tr uh, trays. So what I'll do is I'll uh, put uh, I'll put in the description uh, all the ingredients I've used. Uh, and pretty simple, only like five ingredients or something. So yeah, so that's too hard to work out. Uh, anybody can follow this to be honest. So. Uh, I'll crack on, I'll just roll this out then uh, and I'll get it in the baking tray and then uh, I'll see you in the next bit. I'm going to go put this in an uh, allergen oven uh, then I'll, uh, once I get it back out I'll let you have a look when I'm putting the, uh, the mixture into it. The cheese, egg, bacon, onion, salt and pepper mixture. So that's blind baked now in the uh, halogen oven. Uh, see, so yes, I've put pastry in the tray obviously. And just and just got a fork and just press edges down. It's a lightly oiled uh, tin, the nine inch tin. Just got a fork. I'll show you quickly. And all you do is just press edges down before I, uh, you know, all the way around before I uh, blind baked it. Uh, so I'm just going to put the filling in there now. So like I said, that was 150C in a halogen uh, for 10 minutes. So I'm going to add the filling now. Quick stir again. So this is filling. So this made two perfect uh, amounts for uh, two quiches, and that that pastry perfect for two for two of these nine-inch trays. So I think it's worked out about probably about two pound fifty per quiche for a nice fresh homemade with lots of ingredients in plenty of bacon plenty of egg plenty of cheese plenty of onion salt pepper you can add what you want to this uh, you could add I suppose you could add spring onions I'm just going to garnish this now with uh, a bit of tomato but you can add what you want you could add ham uh, peppers mushrooms broccoli uh, uh, there's hundreds of different things you can add just, just whatever you want for your preference but that just finishes it off there. I'm just going to give it a little egg wash. Just so that uh, we can brown it on edges when it's done. Look a bit more professional. And uh, then I'll come back to you once it's cooked. I mean, I'll show you the settings on allergen. I'm going to leave it at uh, 150. I've preheated it to 150C. And I'm going to let it cook all the way through. So what I'm going to do now is, just so I can keep track of what I am, what I'm doing, you know, the time. The allergen's got a 60 minute timer on it, so I'm going to set it for 60 minutes. It probably won't take 60 minutes, but it's just so I'll know where I am, you see, with it. So we'll go sling this in allergen. So I'm just going to quickly show you. I've got the allergen oven on uh, with the quiche in it, and the uh, silver ring there is an extender ring, so you'll need that to stop if you're going to use an allergen. I mean, this will be perfect, uh, probably 40 45 minutes, like I said it before, in a conventional oven. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll give you all the settings, but uh, you need this extender ring if you're going to use an allergen uh, due to the uh, the allergen light being too close to the quiche without the ring. Uh, so I've got it on, uh, I put it on for one hour, the timer. I did pre it for 10 minutes after a blind baked uh, the base for, for 10 minutes at 175. Uh, I put it on for an hour, but it probably won't take an hour, but I just did that because it's got an hour timer on it and then I can just calculate. So I know it's done 10 minutes, you know, just in case I have to turn it back on, then I know I haven't done like 30 minutes. I did 10, 40 minutes, 5, 45, so I can just work it down. Uh, yeah, so 175. So 
Anyway, let's see how it comes About out. 45 minutes in a conventional oven, and I'll put all the uh, the different heating and uh, recipe in the description. See how it's all spongy. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. Right. So I'm going to get this out. We'll let it cool, and then we'll cut into it. Okay, guys. So it's cooled down now. Uh, that's how it's looking now. Looking good. Yeah, it does well in that allergen. It does just as good in allergen as it does in the conventional oven. So. We'll try cut a piece now to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, it feels good. My mum's uh, old knife, God rest her soul, uh, she used to peel uh, all the veg with this for years and years and years, so I've kept it. Great little knife. Sorry, I'm smashing tomatoes up and like that. It's only a garnish. Oh yeah, looking good. Palette knife, see if I can get it out in a wanna. Oh yeah, look at that. Plenty of filling. I don't know if you can see it properly, hopefully you can. Plenty of filling, loads of bacon. That's how I like it. So I'm going to uh, try to get the rest of it out of this tray now and then uh, we'll give it a taste test. Okay guys, so taste test. Yeah, come out of there perfect, didn't break. That bit of oil I put on the tray will bang on. So what I'm going to do after this video, after this vlog, when I upload it I'll put in the description all the ingredients and the, uh, the oven temperatures for different ovens for your gas, for your electric, for your fan oven and for your halogen. But yeah, we're going to have a taste test now. So I'll bring you along for the ride. Hope you can see me. Uh, no, mate. That is amazing. Proper, firm, spongy. Pastry is done to perfection. Loads, shitloads of ingredients. All the bacon you want. A lovely golden brown crust perfect absolutely beautiful yeah lovely crispy pastry absolutely fantastic right guys I'm going to have to end this one here because excuse me still chewing um, I think it's gone on quite a while uh, if you could like Subscribe, comment, uh, if you want to comment and tell me anything I've missed out or what I should have said or anything that I need to uh, add to my vlog, you know, um, advice wise or things I've done that I might have missed out of mentioning, uh, please feel free just to comment on that and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you and uh, thanks, thanks for watching, bye for now.